Hi, my name is Conrad Ricamora. Welcome to the Lyceum Theater. I'm gonna give you a little tour. And right here, we have our makeshift green room area where we welcome all of our fancy guests. We've had a lot of them. Robert Downey Jr. just came, Andrew Rannells, Christine Baranski. I didn't even know she was here and then I looked over and I did the gay gasp when I saw her. Oh yeah, Rosie O'Donnell, Sarah Paulson, Amy Adams, Melissa McCarthy. And Melissa McCarthy has seen it twice, once downtown, once uptown. Part of your backstage tour is me explaining my pre-show ritual, which is my special water that my husband makes that has ginger, lemon juice, and honey in it. And he's so sweet, he makes it for me before every show. And it keeps me healthy. Thanks, sweetie. Some set pieces here. You may recognize them if you've seen the show, which you should. That's the stage right over there. And here is my dressing room right over here. Come on in. A few of my show posters from shows that I've done in the past. Little Shop, Here Lies Love. This Shakespeare's r and J I I did in Philadelphia and I played Juliet as a Catholic schoolboy. Uh, it was a really important show in my development as an actor. It was almost 20 years ago. And then all of my Abe Lincoln memorabilia. My friend Dawn, <laughs> she she used to work for uh, Stumptown and it's Abraham Lincoln's No More Gay Coffee. <laughs> Just a cup a day keeps the gay away. And then my husband and I found this painting, I don't know, but at an antique store of young Abraham Lincoln. And then there's my husband. He makes, that's the one that makes the ginger lemon water every day. Boxes and boxes of throat coat and bourbon when you've had a bad show. <laughs> At 15 minutes till I start doing vocal exercises with this little thing uh, that I learned from Cecily Berry's uh, voice and the actor. And you hit this thing and then you go pa 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 ba 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 ta 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 da 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 ka 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 ga ga ga. And then I do a bunch of Shakespeare. Cheese balls. I actually bought these for the show. Uh, I bought them downtown and they were such a hit that I bought some more and they're almost gone. But I always uh, have some of these and some peanut butter pretzels uh, as well. Follow me this way. We'll say hello to my best friend who happens to be my dresser. And here she is. Hi, Amanda. You want to say hi? What's it like working with me? Do you love it? Well, absolutely horrible. <laughs> How dare you? You're fired. Um, that's the last time you'll see. I'm glad you got her on camera now because she's fired. Um, but yeah, have a <laughs> we go way back to 2013 at the public. Um, that was when I met Amanda. She was my dresser and then my best friend now for too long. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Tony Macht. <laughs> Hello. He always does this before every show. We can't stop him. When I first moved here, one of the first shows I saw was Venus in Fur, and I saw it from the second balcony. This theater is kind of unique because it has two balconies, and I, I was sitting in the very last row, and it was so good, so electric, and when I heard we were moving into this theater, I thought, what a full circle moment. Um, yeah, and I can attest to all of you wondering out there whether a show from the last row in the upper balcony is good. Yes, I saw it when I first moved here a certain amount of years ago, and I loved it so much. It was one of my seminal uh, New York City moments, and I'll never forget it. Opening night was incredible, but the first two or three shows that we did in this theater kind of knocked us on our socks because we were used to around little under 300 people down at the Lortel, and this has three times that. And so the amount of laughter, the, the energy from the laughter coming at us took us a, a, two shows to get used to, and then after that, it's been smooth sailing. Thanks so much. Come to the Lyceum. And speaking of, I have to get ready for the show tonight. So bye.